All right, Michael, obviously the Baines and Schaefer is just synonymous with West Texas A&M athletics. Just what does this gift here mean to the athletic program? Well, I, you know, it's another, it's just another thing that the Bain and Schaefer families have done for the university and athletic program. And, and you know, the thing about the Baines and the Schaefers, I think is one unique. Um, each has a former student athlete that played for us and they understand um, intimately what it takes to do what we do in terms of winning championships, the, the discipline and and the commitment that it takes for our athletes so that they get that. I think, you know, when you add those names onto what is the best stadium in Division Two and the experience that, you know, we, we have here, I think it's just kind of, it's a it's almost like a cherry on top of a Sunday that you have two families that are incredibly important to the university who understand that this football stadium is important to not only the athletic program but the university and to have their names uh, alongside Buffalo Stadium, I think it's important and a good, it's, it's as I said, like kind of the cherry on top of what they mean to the university. WG has been making huge strides in first class facilities all over the campus, but especially athletics. So what do you really hope that brings to uh, enhance all athletic programs and uh, in recruiting for WG? Well, so the next, the next phase, the next project that we have going on will be the next expansion of the Bain Athletic Center, which will include about 20,000 new square feet for football, the football team, coaches' offices, meeting space, administrative offices, our track and field programs, as you know, um, nationally competitive, multiple national championships, they will move over there as well. So, you know, this gift uh, does a couple of things for us. Uh, that project, that next project gets off the ground, but also uh, they're establishing an endowment that will help us uh, we have funds on an annual basis to continue to reinvest into our facilities because for us facilities and coaches are what drive championships. Um, our facilities are among the best in the country, our coaches are among the best in the country. That allows us to recruit the best student athletes here in West Texas and our expectations are to win championships and graduate. And these gifts and the Baines and Schaefers have understood that uh, since the day I stepped foot on this campus I learned very quickly that uh, from Ray Bain and Barbara Bain and Stanley and Geneva Schaefer that uh, they expect excellence at WT and so for, for the better part of two decades we've chased excellence and they've been a part of it and uh, we're thankful you know again today for their continued support of our chase for excellence. Your 20 plus years here at WT I mean this is almost a complete make lift since you make over since you came in I mean just about every facility is a state-of-the-art complex how does that just help the program moving forward? Yeah, you know, I mean, facilities are the are the hardest thing, right? Because they're the most expensive and require a plan and getting everybody on board. But that's, you know, we've been blessed with two incredible presidents in Pat O'Brien and Walter Windler who understand that facilities drive not just athletics. It drives academics, too. You have to have great learning spaces uh, in the classrooms to teach the disciplines. To I mean, what we teach are the future workforce, right? And in athletics, it's no different. You have to have great facilities if you want to be good. And so, you know, they, to your, your question, like, where do we go? We continue to improve. Like, every, it's hard for me to believe, but the First United Bank Center, we opened that 20 years ago. It's about time to do some more upgrades in there. The box is, uh, I think, one of the greatest places to play volleyball in America. And we just did some upgrades in there this past offseason with a brand new Olympic caliber floor. Um, facilities are important. That's what we do, and we keep investing in those, and, and the support we get from the community and businesses and people like the Baines and Schaefers help us shape that. It's hard to do. It's the most expensive, but it's the most important. Seeing the Bain and Schaefer names all over campus on first-class facilities, what do you hope that uh, that puts in your student athletes to uh, to you know encourage them to perform for the community? Yeah, I think it's, we have you know that internal drive. I mean, I think that's just a part of of the caliber of athletes and coaches that we have here that desire to succeed that's that's in there and that's burning uh, but to not you know to, to see the different things that we have I think um, you know especially like the Bain Schaefer involvement with them because as I said upstairs the Baines and Schaefer's aren't just about you know the financial gifts they're feeding our teams they're going on the road with them I mean they they know our coaches and players uh, very well and they're, they're they're their biggest fans and so I think you know, that part of their support and wanting to play for the fans is already built into our athletes and coaches. But I think, like for the football team especially, running into Bain Schaefer at Buffalo Stadium, there's a little extra, like, those guys are really great to us and we want to we do well today. I think there is a little extra push with that.